let's build our full mammoth uh, loading the figurine look at my hair and uh, well we are actually going to use the skin and ears surface polygons to quickly come up with the guide hair and later on I'm going to use some deformers like the taper so that I can quickly uh, set uh, the proper length uh, around the, the legs of the animal and uh, the spherize uh, deformer so that I can apply a little bit of gravity to the hair and uh, then I'm going to equalize the length of the hair around the trunk and a uh, little bit of combing around and uh, shaping and scaling hair where uh, I where are supposed to be. As you can see I can also edit uh, one single group oh, sorry one or more single groups in this case, I'm going. I'm just selected the head group, and uh, well, that's very useful because I can concentrate my work only on specific areas, such as around the eyes, and so that I, well, I can quickly and precisely shape my hair without the danger of affecting uh, other areas. And then I'm going to select the ears, only the ears group and uh, I'm going to apply some deformers there as well and as you can see I'm going to use the taper and uh, the spherize and comb a little bit the, uh, the ears hair alright so I'm going to select all the groups again and do a little bit of scaling also around the feet as you see so that uh, with the uh, with a smooth brush it's very easy to uh, be very precise to do very precise combing and as you can see I'm also working a little bit on the tail so that it's uh, nicely tapered and uh, well I keep going with uh, combing my hair and uh, I'm going to apply the tilt roots deformer which gives me a very nice diversified look and uh, then just keep adjusting hair and uh, well I'm going to as you can see I I'm just uh, adjusting lengths a little bit of random here and there on the belly and uh, below the mouth and I'm going to you select all the trunk groups and uh, uh, decrease a little bit the length there so that uh, the hair in those areas are not so uh, much visible and uh, well at this point we have a very nice shape, uh, shape and I'm going to use the cool deformer and as you can see in a little bit that's what you get now the guide hair are all nicely cool and they are not uh, smooth anymore and this is pretty much what I had in mind to create now I'm going to equalize the length also for the front uh, legs so I'm going to select those groups and uh, spherize a little bit and uh, use the scale tool just to well adjust lengths manually and uh, then I'm going to do the same also around the hip and uh, the back of the model and uh, well just uh, you know uh, using my uh, creativity and uh, my personal taste to adjust uh, hair and uh, as you will see in a little bit a very important uh, feature uh, available in uh, look at my hair is the possibility to have uh, multiple hair groups so here now I'm creating a second hair group which means that uh, uh, well I have a separate set of hairs that I can apply on the same model and in this case I'm going to uh, well I'm willing to create some hairs only in some specific spots of the model such as the, the school and the trunk and just around the eyes and this hair will be will have uh, a, a 
thin uh, diameter and uh, as you will see in the render later in the second part of the of this tutorial it really will make a large a very big difference so as you can see now this second group is just uh, mixing to the first one and uh, well this is just uh, an additional set of hairs that I, uh, I will be using and uh, as I said this uh, second hair group will have uh, its own uh, features and uh, parameters such as root tip, colors uh, and uh, diameters and obviously also well, a different uh, hair geometry so as you can see I'm working on this second hair group just uh, uh, apply the cool deformer and uh, co um, combing uh, this uh, hair again and uh, well I think uh, you see I'm just uh, creating some uh, sparse and random guide hair on this second group so that uh, they will pop up later at render time and when we are done, um, well, we are going to create uh, the full hair for both groups. And that will happen in a few seconds. Alright, as you see, I'm, just, uh, sti I'm still just combing a little bit uh, the hair from this group. Okay, let's create the, the full hairs and set density and... Uh, Voila, in a few seconds we have about 500,000 hairs and I'm going to apply some, the, sorry, the root randomizer and the random length slider to uh, get some different, uh, sorry, some random look for this hair group and well, that went very fast but uh, that panel that you, that popped up was just uh, there to well, the, the meaning of that will be explained later because it's too fast, but uh, it's just there to set rules, width and colors for each hair group.